I hope you pick up from my videos that it's not just about cool, complicated coding. To be a successful coder, we've got to do other activities like planning and conceptualization. Another one is tidying up, taking the time to tidy up every now and again so that we can understand things. It doesn't get too complicated. Keep those stress levels down. That's what we're going to do first uh, in this video. In the previous video, I mentioned, well, we could be more explicit uh, with this code here. We could be more explicit specifically with these ranges here. We haven't specified a sheet. We haven't specified a workbook. That could be risky because we're moving between workbooks. So Maybe stop the video, have a think. What can we do to make this code more specific and to avoid any problems by VBA looking at the wrong workbook? Well, we've got a problem here. Just saying range C3 and range C4. That's just going to be the active sheet, whatever sheet VBA happens to be looking at at the time. So we need to be more explicit there. So we could do something like, say, this workbook, workbook dot sheets. And then the name of the sheet, which is which is of course control, and then dot range. Okay, this is absolutely fine. This is a lot of code, and it's something that we're going to repeat. So if we're going to repeat it, we can take the whole line of code here, control X, and we can then use what constructs? What construct is going to help us now? Yes, with end with is going to help us now. So we can say with this workbook dot sheets control and then end with, but we're not done yet. There's some more syntax to put in. Proper indentation, of course. We've got the indentation. And then absolutely vital. This is a mistake that would be easy to make. You've got to remember to put a dot in here before the range. That dot is going to join together what's with the with statements with whatever is after the dot. And that is exactly what we're looking to do. A weekly live Excel VBA tutorial with Chris and a small group of learners. On your computer, click join below this video for more. So that's, we just pop that in now and that looks more specific. And there's something else that we've forgot to put in. I can see this. We're in this tidying up phase. We're taking time, stepping back, going to take the stress levels down later. Uh, we need to step out of the routine here. So here, if there's a problem, we're going to go to this line of code, flash up that message box, as we saw in the previous video. And then we're going to just say exit sub here, because if this is a problem, we're going to have the message box flashing up. Then we want to make sure we leave the routine at this point. So I've made some changes to the code. So what do we need to do when we make changes? We need to do a quick test. What am I expecting to happen? Just checking now, I've got three workbooks open. So if we run the routine and all of the names are accurate, then what's going to happen? Well, Hopefully nothing's going to happen. Just going to hit the F5 key here, run the routine app. Ah, we do get our message boxes, of course. Those message boxes flashing up the sheet, uh, the workbook names there, but nothing happened. We didn't get to this, uh, this uh, message box here saying that we have a problem. So I'm just going to uh, change this, uh, the value in, the, in this cell to a value that's not the name of the file. Again, hit the F5 key, we get our message boxes, and then we get, a, there's a problem with old data, and then we just exit the routine there. So I'm happy with that. Gonna update this. So again, getting a feel for how to work through a task. We need to do a little bit and then test, a little bit and then test. We're still in our tidying up phase though. So what else do we need to do here? Well, we've kind of forgotten about these annotations. We've got all these beautiful annotations that we did in the first video. Let's integrate them into the code and maybe add a few more to make sure that we can understand in English or in your native language what is going on here. So here we're going to identify the three files. And I'm actually going to go, I'm going to do more comments than I'd usually do, you know, going to go really for completeness here. So start, uh, I'm going to say start identification, Identif identification, there we go, of three files here. And then this is what I do. When I, when I annotate a loop, I put an annotation at the top and an annotation at the bottom of the, of the loop here, control V. And with the annotation at the bottom, you just change start to end. A weekly live Excel VBA tutorial with Chris and a small group of learners. On your computer, click join below this video for more. End identification of the three files. And again here, control X and control V. So make sure you're working along with me, updating your uh, annotations too. 
And then this message box, well, do we need that now? Well, that was kind of in the testing phase. So I think we can delete that now. And then what are we doing here? Well, here we're looping through open workbooks. So I'm going to say start loop through open workbook, through open workbooks. There we go. And then uh, can copy that control C on the Windows PC, control C, and then down to the bottom here, control V. Okay. Yep. And then this, of course, is the end loop. Okay, then what's this line of code doing? Well, here we're checking. Check workbook name. And I'm going to put this on a new line so you can see it in your screenshot. Check workbook name against entries and name of this file. Of this file. And then here we can say if workbook not found. In fact, I'm going to put this annotation on the line below the exit sub. Just going to say if workbook name not found, notify user and exit sub. There we go. So again, this is not super sexy coding, but you know what it, you know the, what the deal is with me. I'm going to tell you exactly how you do it. Those skills between the cracks, those skills that wrap around the coding, the softer skills that you need to get this job done. So now I'm looking at this file and it can be difficult looking at a file that has no annotations in. That can be a complete nightmare. I can see we've got some annotations, annotations there. We've done our tidying up. We're ready to push on with this coding task.